the Truth or Girls. Hi everyone, it's Truth or Girl Sonia here. CDC confirms Morgellons is a real disease. Usually when I get anything coming up from Newswire uh, on my Facebook feed, uh, my automatic reaction is an eye roll because this place is full of disinfo. But in this case, th what they're saying is true. Well, sort of. It's not coming from the CDC, but a new independent research study has found that Morgellons is in fact a real disease. So what Morgellons disease is, a mysterious disease where people suffer from non-healing sores, itching, crawling sensations, and fibers coming out of the skin, and also under the skin, also specks and all kinds of things. Something coming out or embedded under the skin. If you don't know what Morgellons is, you can look it up online, but I'm warning you, reading about Morgellons makes you feel like you might have it. It's a bit like reading about bed bugs. Many years ago, like about seven or eight years ago, Morgellons was a big topic and people were wondering, you know, what it could be. And some people were thinking it's related to GMOs, it could be related to geoengineering. Uh, and some people even thought it could be a kind of biological weapon, something like a nanotechnology infec infection or infestation. One of the first news reports on Morgellons, at the end of the segment they stated that the one thing all these people had in common was contact with the soil. So at the time it seemed like that was kind of supporting that maybe it was, you know, something that was being dropped into the soil or it had to do with GMOs. And then the CDC announced they were going to do a study in 2008. And everybody was like, yay, finally, you know, we're going to find out what this is. And it was a disappointment because what happened at the end of their study, they basically said, we don't know what this is. We, we can't figure out what it is, so you must be crazy. I mean, that, that was a, a huge disappointment. Uh, now there's been a new study. Uh, which has concluded that Morgellons is a real disease. It's not delusions of parasitosis. There have actually been a couple of studies. Oh, well, here's one thing from uh, 2010. They, they could not figure out what these fibers were. And I remember one of the news reports from many years ago they t where they tested Morgellons fibers against a forensic database of like every fiber known to man and they could not find a match. Additionally, they report that they have foreign materials such as threads or fibers uh, coming from beneath their skin. Some patients actually gave us those fibers, so we had them analyzed against 100,000 known fiber samples, both natural and synthetic, that the FBI Prime Lab uses, Diane. Guess what? Not a match. So, unknown etiology. I mean, it's not coming from the carpet. So I kind of showed that they can't just be imagining it because nobody knows what these fibers are. So then the research started going in this direction. 2011, filament formation associated with spirochetal infection, a comparative approach to Morgellons disease. And so what they're talking about here is there is a disease in animals called bovine digital dermatitis. At a certain stage, it creates a keratin filament formation in the skin above the hooves in affected animals. So it has symptoms like Morgellons sores with fibers in them, but in cows. While the etiology of Morgellons disease is unknown, there is serological and clinical evidence linking this phenomenon to Lyme borreliosis and co-infecting tick-borne agents. And, and here they point out a key difference between BDD and Morgellons disease is the veterinary community's response to BDD versus the medical community's response to Morgellons disease. While digital dermatitis has been the subject of extensive scientific investigation, unraveling the mystery of Morgellons disease has been hampered by claims that it results from delusions of parasitosis. So uh, they take it seriously when they see it in animals, but when they see the very similar symptoms in humans, they say, well, you must be crazy. You're just imagining there's bugs under your skin. You're inflicting those wounds on yourself, and those are probably fibers from your carpet. So here is the recent study from 2012, Morgellons disease, a chemical and light microscopic study. So what they did again was they comparing it to bovine digital dermatitis. And they, they noticed a few things. 
One was that patients with Morgellons, um, most of them are uh, positive for Lyme, Borrelia burgdorferi, or whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it, Lyme Borrelia, suggesting likelihood of Lyme Borreliosis or related spirochetal infections. Patients also demonstrate a higher than expected percentage of positive laboratory findings for other tick-borne diseases suggesting the possible involvement of co-infecting pathogens. So they're finding that it is related to Lyme and it could be a Lyme co-infection. Again, here also, they're seeing that there's a lot in common with the, the bovine illness, uh, bovine digital dermatitis. BDD is an emerging disease afflicting cattle and is characteristically associated with unusual filament formation in the skin above the hooves. Late stage proliferative lesions demonstrate elongation of keratino keratinocytes, sorry, hyperkeratosis and proliferation of long keratin filaments. So it has to do with how the body is making keratin and it's making these fibers out of keratin. And they know this in cows. So they, they say they have evidence supporting a role of spirochetes as primary etiologic agents. Spirochetes are what cause Lyme disease. And then here they have a number of case studies and they show the kind of lesions these people are suffering from and they describe what these people have gone through. And then they look under the, la under the microscope at the, uh, the, the fibers from Morgellons patients. Fibers tangled around and uh, the iridescence, which is an unusual characteristic of the Morgellons fibers. And then they compare this to bovine digital dermatitis. And they show that BDD samples uh, showing coarse fibers which fluoresce under UV lighting. So that's amazing because not only do these two diseases have like the same kind of lesions and fibers, but they both have fibers that fluoresce under UV lighting. So it's pretty clear that Morgellons is like something like the human version of BDD. And they know that this is connected with Lyme and Lyme co-infections. So the good news is that there's proof now that this is not the result of, as I say here, self-mutilation or delusions, at least not in the cases that they studied here. They also said they've demonstrated that the, the, fi the filaments found in Morgellons have the traits, features of keratin and that the way they're growing uh, resembles the evolution of the fibers seen in BDD. And because BDD is a disease in which spirochetes have been identified as the primary ideologic agent, and because Morgellons patients tend to be positive for spirochete infections, they conclude it is reasonable to assume that spirochetal infection plays an important role in the MD filament production. So there you have it. Morgellons disease is a real disease. The fibers are real. They're being generated by the body. It's not a delusion of parasitosis. And it's connected with spirochetal infection, tick-borne infections. So I, I'm hoping that this is gonna lead to more study and this is gonna lead to treatment for the people who suffer from this. So that's kind of the good news and the bad news. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting my work on Patreon. And thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.